Hi, kids! Hmm, is anyone there? Oh, hi, Granny! Wow, that looks great! What is it? Um, what's going on? That is madness! Oh, I get it! How cool! It is a jungle animalarium with many animals living in this ecosystem. And we have to build them! <laughs> it's super fun! Shall we start? Let's build the leopard! Whoops! Looks like this is broken, Granny! <laughs> it's happening again, Granny! And look at the strange outcome! It's a leofrocan! Rare mix between leopard, frog and toucan! Only seen in this animalarium! <laughs> Let's find the body and legs that correspond to that little head! Most mammals, like this leopard, have their bodies covered with hair. So let's look for a very hairy body. Let's turn the pack. There it is. As you can see, the leopard's body has spots. They help them to camouflage themselves in the undergrowth to hunt better. Now it's time to find the tail. Beautiful leopard specimen, leopard and elephant. It could work as a character in a scary movie. <laughs> Although I don't think the leopard can walk very well with those feet. Let's keep looking. Um, I think someone lost their chameleon tail. <laughs> Next, this candidate doesn't even have a tail. Or even a single hair. This isn't what we're looking for either. Although, you have to admit that it doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> this tail seems to fit better. Shall we check it out? Does it have spots? Yes! And it has hair too. So, do you think it's the leopard's tail? Yay! Yes! There we have our fierce and beautiful leopard. Have you seen how well it looks? Do you want to take a picture? <laughs> hey, what happened here, Granny? The leopard has to be rebuilt again. <laughs> this is an Alloroplion. Frog Partlia? Leorophant! Tuparlian! Elephrican! Frograkan! Leofrakpat? Tuparlia? Galliford? I don't even know what I'm saying! Oh, Granny! What if we ask the children what's happening? Do you know what happened, children? Is someone changing the panels? Spooky! I don't think Granny heard you. Let's say it louder. Spooky! Hmm. What are you thinking about, Granny? Where are you going? Aha! She got you! Ha 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 
Today is cleanup day. Hello, nature. Goodbye, garbage. Each waste to its own container. Yes, monkey. I also thought milk bricks went in the paper container. But no, they go in the plastic one. <laughs> Did you hear that too? to the paper container and glass to the glass container. Easy, right? We're coming to you, little baby. Great teamwork. Just the way I like it. Glass bottle, a plastic lunchbox, a newspaper. Uh, my grandfather's clothes. You have to admit that it fits. Cardboard. Glass. Plastic. Pause. Girls and boys, do you know in which container Caddy has to throw that bottle of detergent? That's it. Into the plastic one. And what about those cardboards, girls and boys? Yo. To the paper one! Come on, kids, let's go! Uh. Let's rescue that baby more! Uh. We're just finishing up! Where do milk bricks go? Uh. No! Remember the lesson, milk bricks go into the plastic container. We did it! The Super Sue team has new allies. You can also be a member of the team if you respect nature and make sure everything is garbage free. <laughs> Hi children! <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Wow! 
Well, it isn't lunchtime yet. Why don't we have a snack? What do you feel like, Kengu? An apple? A banana? Hmm. Or maybe strawberries? Or even better, a fruit smoothie with all of them. Kids, help Caddy, Kangu, and Granny find five fruits hidden in the background. I think I found the apples. Do you see them? Just need to find one more. Hurry up! Time is almost up. Time's over. Here are the answers. There's the apple, then the strawberries, the pears, the bananas, and the oranges. <laughs> nice! Good job, kids! Smoothie time! Oh, wait! We don't have a blender. Mm. What can we do now? Mm. Kids, any ideas? <laughs> wow! Thanks, Kangu. Thanks to you and the kids, we'll enjoy a healthy smoothie. <laughs> Dr. Spooky is having a picnic. Yuck, he's gonna eat a greasy hamburger. Oops, guess not. How about that milkshake? Nope, not that either. Will he be able to eat the ice cream? Haha, <laughs> in your dreams. Wow, Dr. Spooky doesn't like nature at all. And nature doesn't like Dr. Spooky at all either. What's this? Why is he summoning his robot? Wait a minute, Dr. Spooky is uprooting all the trees in the forest with his robot. Yes, Granny, just as you can see, Dr. Spooky's up to his shenanigans again. Let's go, Super Zoo team. We have to stop him. Show us how on your computer. Aha! Caddy and Monkey need to press that button to control the robot. To the transformation capsules! Second. Great! Monkey has stopped the trees! Now we're going to protect the environment! Nice aim, Caddy! See you later, Dr. Spooky! Great job, Caddy. You're the best. Now what, Dr. Spooky? There's the button. Don't let him get away. Ha-ha. Gotcha. Come on, 
Caddy. It's time to bring the forest back to life. We have to replant. Get up, Mr. Robot. We have to fix what Dr. Spooky messed up. Tree by tree, the forest goes back to being what it was, and no evil human will damage it again. Lovingly, everything is put back into place, and the Super Zoo team wins again! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Nature is precious. That's why we have to take care of it.